Hello, everyone. I'm Mel Greenberg. And I'm Karen Glasser. And welcome to Uncorked, life exposed in the most unexpected ways. Or what you see is not always what you get. <laughs> Uncorked is proud to be on the Vital C Network. We love Vital C. Go check out Vital C. I'm just going to put this up here. We just love Vital C. They've got some great shows there. We're going to talk about the travel, travel program. I mean, some amazing things. Go check out Vital C. You will not be disappointed. What are we chatting about today? How we express ourselves. Oh, okay. And, it, you know, it's the dead of summer. Right. And we couldn't even decide what to wear. So, <laughs> <laughs> And so we, so we got you know, the memo. Yeah. Um, we're twins. It's miserable. We're hot. Yeah. We're tired. It's, I'm ready for fall already, which I tend to do. But yeah. beyond that, how, how, how we express ourselves in, you know, kind of in our you know, peak stage movement, right. what that looks like and whether it's move traveling or crafts and right. hobbies. And, and we right. actually got to talking about that and the hobbies. Right. And what do you do? Well, we have to drink first. Though. Oh God. Uh, I'm sorry. I cannot go I another second without drinking. I'm drinking iced tea today. And I'm drinking water. <laughs> because I'm hot. Because, <laughs> because it's hot. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Cheers everyone. Okay. So now free time. <laughs> and and we have more of it. So let's face it. And right. it's easy to kind of let the days just just pass by and, and, mm -hmm. and you don't I don't I don't want to feel that I've done that, that they've just melded into one into right. another. And I want to do things, but I mean I do work, I do have things, but I have a lot more free time. And I want to spend yeah. it in a in a good productive way, yet an enjoyable way. So so how do you do that? What do you do? Um, well, I do, you know, I do my yoga and, and that actually it's a, it, it helps me because it really helps me quiet my mm -hmm. head. Um, one thing that I do is needlepoint <sighs> show me. and I'm going to show all of you because as you know, I have a, my first grandchild and my sweet baby Isla, I am doing a, her first Christmas stocking and I've taken this on and I'm working oh. on it now. So it will be ready for her second Christmas. I love didn't that. didn't quite make it for the first I think, I think I told you, I mean, I, I used to do needlepoint and petty yeah. point. And when I lost my sight in my right eye, I can't do it. So I'm living vicariously through you okay. because that is so stunningly gorgeous. So stunningly gorgeous. And it's so satisfying to, mm -hmm. and, and, and I mean, that's a huge piece. I do that at home. I travel, I have little, in fact, I, so I got this from my girlfriend who actually introduced me to needlepoint. She's, she's an absolute act. She teaches it. So she's incredible. And I do ornaments for the tree. And so, I mean, I've got everything. And my goal, hers is 100% needlepoint ornaments. And right. that's my goal. And I'm about not quite halfway there. Um, and I have a lot. And what I've started doing last year was getting everywhere we've traveled the ornaments. Because wow. I have all the, you know, the college, the, inter the interest, the sports of teams, all do. those things. Of, of course, course I do. So now, so that's been really fun. So everywhere we go, I get a new canvas and I love that start it. and then it also gives me something to do I read um what else do I do I we both do puzzles well yes and I have an app on my phone how I know is, I saw uh, that oh it's my god really cool. yeah and it can do it anywhere I do it on the plane and it it, it is I just unwind I love right. that it's I, I do I do them on my dining room table I know I love that yeah. too and then we glue them and we staple them to the which is the coolest box. way to say what you do because usually you just put them in the box and I know and then you on. and then you pass them on no mm -hmm. no no I'm I, I they're mine I keep yeah. them <laughs> and we, I put them on the wall we became upset we did it always as a kid summer vacations I always had a table in in our dining room actually I put up mm -hmm. a card table and we did puzzles all summer long. And the beginning of the lockdowns that we started that again, and we were just yeah. going to, and then you couldn't find them anywhere. I because know. Everyone, we were not alone. Everyone was <laughs> everyone doing was the puzzles. Everyone was looking for puzzles, yeah. and they were all sold out. Now, not so much. It They're was back a in really stock. fun yeah. family activity. It really was. Yeah. It, it really was. Um, I, I actually started doing, I'm not an artist in any way, shape, or form, but... Uh, my sister introduced me to something called Zentangle, and, and I have it, never heard it's of that so before. cool. Um, it's it's kind of like doodling, but to the extreme kind of doodling, and you make really cool things. So I literally I made this. That's a Zentangle, which is so cool, and it's it's a paperweight. So I actually made it. So you create something. So that's what I do. I so love can to do you that. show? Can you show us what, what it looks like? Because I, of course, I had to go order this because I do love to doodle. So here's here's a, here's I'm going to show you a couple of Zentangles. That's a Zentangle. So what you basically are doing is you create sections 
on a piece of paper and in each section you zen tangle something so either it's circles it's lines but it all is patterns and then they teach you how to shade and so i've got some cool things like this i've literally learned so how to, you start from scratch you start not from a scratch template. not you, you a template do wherever at your, all. Not your a mind template. takes you yeah, so I mean, it's like show and tell here, but these are all Zen tangles, and so it's cool. I'm I'm having a blast. I literally, and it makes me feel like I'm an artist. Which but is, but also, how does it take you out of the oh, stress yeah, of because, the day? Do you yeah just detach? You have to, you don't have a choice because you have to focus. Each line goes in a particular place, and you you're you know so you're very studiously doing this. It takes me to a completely Zen, no pun intended. <laughs> A Zen place, and I think that's really kind of how they, well, they created. And this. I think that's what, and that's what needlepoint does that for me because we're so used to always being on. We have our phones, we're like right. putting something down to check, and, right. and I put it, I keep it on a table. Right. I just focus because it's so on detailed that, right. that you have to, and it's relaxing, and it's you know. Yeah, I I totally love doing that. The other thing I do is I have an app on my phone, like you have one for puzzle. I have one for coloring. Mm. I have a coloring app. It's called Happy Color. And again, for the same thing, you totally just go into it and nothing else yeah, you tune is, out is the you world tune out around the world. You. And like, you don't have to be an artist. It's color by number, basically. Yeah. You see it and you push it. I love it. I feel like I'm, I'm an artist, yeah. which is always, always, always a lot of well, fun. And we're all musicians. Well, you are too. We're yeah. all musicians in, in, in our house and I play the violin and I, I've started with Isla my granddaughter sitting her with me right. at the piano and just letting, you know, kind of help like, yeah. And watching that. And I always, I'm either there or with the violin and playing and, and hoping to, to. How wonderful that is that? I her. think that's wonderful. And starting her at a very early age, mm -hmm. which is great. And mm -hmm. who knows, she might be the next virtuoso, virtuoso well, violinist. Quite possibly. So it's, I think it's hard for all of us who are go, go, go people to <laughs> find, to find balance in our life and, and, and I find mean, the time to get that balance, do you create hobbies? I mean, I know that you're, you're needle pointing. Do you do it by yourself? Do you do it with your partner? What? How, how do you decide what your hobby is going to be now that we're trying to find some balance? I, I think I don't. I I tend to. And when we decided to to go into this, I thought about. I don't think of it as hobbies, and I don't think of it as finding time. I think of it as allowing time for myself. Good distinction. And and I do that, and I I. That I do pretty easily. I I will. I know that I, what I do. Well, I know what I need to do to keep my cup full, right. which helps me be there for other people. And I can tell when I have not done that. So I. I mean, I do like, and I alter. You know, I love being out. I, I golf. I walk. I so all of those things right. are to me right. hobbies. You know, I, I don't really know how to funnel it into a term like that. Right. I enjoy it. Things that I do for me that I enjoy. That you like to do. Yeah. Thank so it's do. maybe self-fulfillment. And, you know, for me, it's trying, whether I'm going to do something with my husband and activity, we're starting to cook together. So that's, yeah. that, which is always, my, my husband likes peanut butter. That's, that's his thing, you know, peanut butter or, or pasta with sauce on it. So we're trying to branch out a little bit yeah. and starting to cook a little, we make some pizzas together, you know, put your own stuff on the pizza, some lasagna, Italian. He loves Italian. So we, we kind of do that. That's wonderful. Which is, which is kind of fun for me. Again, music is the same thing for me. Mm -hmm. I, I listen to music all the time, but I think what, it, what happens as we get a little bit older and more, more mature, uh, we start, we want to <laughs> honor the, the, the personalities that are in our lives. Yes. And, right. Um, and we were talking about how we unwind and my husband unwinds one way. I unwind a totally different mm -hmm. way. And we very specifically Same. talked Same. about, you know, crew. I, the reason why I like to go on cruises is that I like to sit on a chaise lounge like the whole time because so you don't, you're not the person that Mm -hmm. plans the excursions and nope. goes nope. and, nope. and nope. discovers the cities that you're in. No, I could, I would be very happy if I never had to leave the chaise lounge because it's an enforced um, time for me to not work. I don't have my phone with me because you're on a cruise ship. There's right. no, no so connection. You can't, have it. you can't have it. So the only thing that I can do is do the one thing that I can't do during the rest of the year. So, but that's and what that a vacation should unwind. be. And whatever it is to right. you, like for me, it is getting out. I, and that's why I've always, I've preferred land travel to cruise right. because I like more time. I like to spend time in a, in a place that we visit. I like to right. get to know the people and kind of feel like I'm a resident there. So 
And you, it, and you know that, and you know right, that about and yourself that, yeah. and you honor that, yeah. you know, my husband likes to scoop it or not, and actually not scoop anymore, but snorkel. He loves to snorkel. And so that's why we cruise because then, yeah. no matter where you go, at least where we go, you can, he can go and cruise. He can literally go and do a snorkeling like for the whole day. And I don't have to worry that he's mm-hmm. worrying about me and I'm not worried about him. I'm on a, I'm on my chaise lounge with a little umbrella drink in my hand, reading a really good book. And he's out taking pictures of fish. Because but that makes him happy. He loves it. He well, loves it. And like, that's a really good example about and about honoring your partner or right. who you are spending, you know, who right. you travel with. But my husband has, he goes more than any, he has more energy than God. I just, <laughs> I don't know where he gets it all. And it's amazing, but he needs to slow down. So we go on vacation and I want him to slow mm-hmm. down. And we were, for my 40th birthday, he surprised me. We went to Tahiti and we were there for three weeks. It wasn't wow. until the second week I li- I saw him change because right. there was nothing to do. And he really started to embrace that until we were on Bora Bora and he realized that it was also when that, that year the Giants were in, in the playoffs to go to the Super Bowl and he couldn't get the game oh. and he went crazy. He was like, I got to get oh, to Papa. Yeah, I mean, you could, yeah. then you could see it come back. But right. he it was beautiful to see that he could. And in the meantime, I was out on the hammock every day or we had that little over the the water yeah. house yeah, and very cool. um, sitting and enjoying that reading. And he can't do that as easily. He, he right. unwinds a different, you know, differently. And then for him too, it's like, it's on the golf course or, I mean, he has a very high powered job. The, the financial industry is very stressful. Very stressful. So he really does need to check out and he does it the best way that serves him. And what I've come to after 30 years of marriage is to, to respect that and not say, Oh yeah, but you should do this. It's like, this works for yeah. him. Let him do what works for him. And that's, I think what you express when you cruise, it serves you to be on the ship. It's like a perfect kind of vacation for us because we both can do what we want to do without feeling like we are impinging on what the other one wants to do. He has no expectation that I'm going to go snorkeling. It's not ever going to happen. And he's okay with that. He takes his little bag of bread, you know, in the little Ziploc bag and he goes and he does his thing and he's so happy and it's a great way for him to unwind. And I'm happy for him that he can do that. Um, Well, when we, and when we go, when we travel for extended periods of time, he will often work during the days and I love to walk. Right. And again, get out where and explore wherever we are. And I have no illusions that he's going to wake up one morning and say, I'm going to go walk with you because it ain't going to happen. happen. And I don't know that I wanted to either because I do enjoy that time. And I know he's enjoying his time. So it really, and I think that as we move through our lives, we become more comfortable with that space and allowing those that we love to be yeah. who they are and not yeah. trying. Like I, I love that you're cooking together. Yeah. That will never happen in my house. <laughs> I, but I, but then I get it because he, he enjoys right. what I cook. So I love preparing right. a meal. And, and my and husband that's... does not enjoy anything that I cook because yeah. he's not a foodie. Yeah. And so my re- actually, that was my response to that is like, okay, you don't like what I make. Let's make what you like and we'll make it together. And that's been so kind of fun. It's been kind of fun. Butter sandwiches? We perfected peanut butter sandwiches. <laughs> Yeah, we have. We have. He likes it. He, he likes no chunky. Or- no, and he likes it smooth. smooth. He likes, you know, like it drips off, it's a big off debate. the side. It's a huge How about you? debate. Um, I'm actually not a peanut butter lover. I will, but I will. I'll eat when when I do do it. It will be the creamy. Um, will he try other like sunflower butter or almond no, butter? Uh, no, it has to be uh, peanut butter. It has to be peanut crunchy butter. peanut butter. No, no, chunky. Uh, it's smooth. smooth peanut He's butter. He totally likes the smooth. He likes to see it drip over the side. So you know, there is that. So. <laughs> I want to, you know, we've been talking for the past couple of months because we are really, really excited about the the new travel platform that that uh, uh, rolled out on yes. Vital C a couple of months ago. It's specifically, two away. yeah, and specifically, it's, around the corner. it's right around the corner now, Alaska, and you're going. I know, so, I can't wait. And there's only just, I mean, I I only think there's a few cabins yeah. left on, on this particular group trip. Mm-hmm. Um, so don't forget, go and check it out at vitalc.com because Mel's going. And I, I want to share, I, I started wearing and working with a company called Coolabar and right. it's, it's sun protection clothing and they have the greatest, tra- just great. I mean, you could wardrobe your entire, your entire right. family. I got, right. you know, sweet baby Isla. But it protects things. you. And it's, it's SPF and it's protective right. and so much better than the stuff you slather on your body with right. the chemicals. I, it's right. fabulous. And it's, the designs are wonderful and they travel really easily. So check that out. You'll see it in the store. We put some yeah, items from the there store. in the well, store. Well, you're also going to see like needlepoint stuff, things mm-hmm. that we're doing, Zentangle. You're going to see that in the store. Go mm-hmm. pick it up. We'd love to hear from you guys. Like, 
like, what do you like to do? What kind of hobbies do you have? Are you creating new hobbies right now? Are you, how do you unwind? All of the things that we're talking well, about. And it is fun to, to learn it. Like I had never heard of Zentang. And she started yeah. sharing this and I'm like, the heck is that? <laughs> no. And of course I was on, you know, the website and getting it. you got it. your own. I did. Yeah. Okay. Um, and I can't wait to, to give yeah. it a try. To we probably on. should like Zentangle something for the Uncore crowd. I don't know. Well, yeah. While we're drinking. You know how they do the art, the wine and art things? You go to a, oh, yeah. you know, you, I think it loosens you up. Well, so that would not... be fun to, 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 to do one yeah. without drinking and, and see the <laughs> and difference. See the and see the see difference. And see how your creativity right. expands. So we do want you to go check out the... Um, our, our store. I'll go over to uncorked.shop. You can also go to uncorked.store. Either one will take you over to the store and see some of these really cool, cool things. Again, Mel is really good at this and she's also really good at creating some great music. And so we want to encourage uh, you to go to the Uncorked playlist. Yeah. Summer fun. Fun, we fun, fun. So much fun with it this Tell month. my daddy took the T-bird away. Sorry, I had a song coming. Everything's a song for me these days. I'm sorry. You keep talking and I'm going <laughs> to have a song for you. <laughs> I know you have done that to me. Any, any last thoughts? It's July, guys. Okay, we're already, um, I am on my way next week. To fall. To, to actually, well, you're, to I'm on my way trip. to British Columbia mm -hmm. um, next week, so I'm so excited. Uh, so when I get back and we, we have our next show, maybe we'll talk a little we'll bit about, about it, that. Yeah. Um, we want you to go out and have a great time. Go out and enjoy your summer this summer, right? Have some fun today. Yeah, totally enjoy your summer. And we'll see you next month. Yes, we will. On the next Uncorked.